Right, today we're doing some coffee. I need to press this button here. Hey, look, you got top-down view again. Whee. That's why there's a camera here. Um, I'm actually going to shove myself in the top corner there. Get out the way. We got, got some new coffee to try. How's everyone been anyway? Um, we've always been on holiday. We've been in Budapest. It's it was nice and warm most of the time. It was rainy uh, for like one day and a half a well half one day, half another day. Um, lovely, lovely holiday. Lots of walking. We took a little bit, a few extra days, so we could rest a little bit. Um, it was nice. Good holiday all round. How's everyone's week been? And how's everyone's three-day weekend going? Make sure. Yes, I did send the tweet out. That's good. Discord, done all that. All good. Thank you for the clip there. Right. We got some new coffee. Uh, I got these before going away. Uh, you can see this one I have actually opened already. <laughs> actually, I both had a good time. It was a great time. Good food. Great sights. Good weather. The uh, thermal baths are amazing for when you've been walking around the whole city and you just need your whole like legs to just recover completely. So, yeah, thermal baths all the way. Right. Um, I've realised I've left the kettle in the other room, but I'll get it in a minute. Take those off. Don't need those. Cheer. <laughs> no, it's not an order. <laughs> no, you will cheer. Do a cheer. What happens if I press this button? Hey, it was a cheer. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I got uh, three new... I actually got a big bag of that dark roast that um, I tried a couple of weeks back um, before it all sold out. So I got that just as a standard everyday stuff. Um, I've still got my espresso blend for the espresso stuff, but I got these three um, ones. I went for a medium roast, a medium dark, and a dark roast. Um, the medium roast, don't know if you can eat that, from El Salvador. Um, I will look up actually. I will give you the tasting notes. We're going to be trying at least these two because I've already tried this one. I opened it beforehand because I wasn't sure if they'd all like last. But this one was nice. It's very good. I need to try it in the air press again because I uh, didn't quite get a good, good brew out of that one. Um, right, Mon. It's from Monmouth Coffee again. What's this one called? Uh, let's hope they still have it. Oh, they don't. Okay, so this one's now discontinued. As is the other one I was trying. <laughs> um, oh, that one's discontinued as well. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Hold on. Let me check. Let me check. Uh, no. That one's still there. Good. This. Finca Malacara A. I don't know why I'm doing it on that screen. We're not on the main screen anymore. Um, yeah, that one's discontinued, which is a shame. Sometimes they do bigger batches, sometimes they do smaller batches. It depends how popular they are, I guess. Um, and this one, Finca Santa Catalina, uh, is still there. So that one is the medium dark and it is candied satsuma milk chocolate medium acidity full body that one uh, this one which is the dark roast i've already tried is go caramel so less uh, yeah chocolate caramel and some subtle acidity very good that one okay where can i see here this is... 
I wonder if they'll ever come back in stock. Yes, this one is unfortunately discontinued. This is Mandarin's Praline uh, Yellow Cherry Acidity. I've never had a yellow cherry, so I have no idea. Light to medium body, but medium roast. No pretense to hit just on opinions. This one was nice. It is. It's very nice. Um, but I, I had it over a week ago, so I can't remember. Because I last had this on last Saturday. Not yesterday, week before. And a lot's happened in a week, so I can't remember if it was how good it was. So we're gonna try all three of these in the AeroPress. It's a good good way to start off with them. Um, I will obviously then try them on the espresso and in my um, pour over, but we're going to try these. Does anyone have any opinions of which ones to try first? We're probably going to make one cup, then I'll do some Lego building. Have the Lego build down here. Here is the Lego so far. Oh no, something's broken off. Oh, that's not good. Right, we'll have to figure that one out. <laughs> one there, there we go. Well, the cherry one, which is the discontinued one, the lightest roast, the medium roast. We will do that. So what I will do is I will Right, we've got. I will go measure out fourteen grams. And also I'll boil the kettle. I've realized I haven't turned the music down, but I'm gonna mute the mic now anyway. I'll be back in a minute. Maybe I can show you the new setup. I do that. Oh, that's my torso. Sort of. You can sort of see it. What if I raise the desk? Is this going to break everything? Probably, Paul. What are you seeing here? What's this? Oh, that's the mic stand. Get the mic out of the way. My floor is sinking. Obviously, when I'm not doing Lego, I will have a camera pointing at this stuff a bit more. But da -da -da -da. that's the new setup. Beans fell on the floor. Oh. 
I've got that extra one in there, aren't I? Picked it up too uh, too quickly. Yes, they will be your beans. You want to explain to the people why you're you want beans that have been on the floor? While I uh oh god, why is everything falling apart today? <laughs> well, I go boil the kettle and do the grinding. Uh, what were these? These were medium, right? Okay, let me go down to a 22 on the grinder. And I'll be back in a minute. I have returned. Right. This is where I've screwed everything up because the camera is now one key. Oh god, that's really one. Okay. Oh god, don't go that way. There. Yes. There, let's get the keyboard on, I think. Oh, now the capture card. Why capture card? Why? Um, give me a second. Oh god, why is it doing this? Hey, that's working again. Cool. You just use them as nice smelling pen makeup brush holders for the beads. Yes. It's a very good idea. Right. Oh, I'm standing up now, so it's different. Actually, well, it's quite good because the camera stays in a uh, consistent place. Oh, I forgot the phone light. Ring light. There we go. Look, you can actually see the grind now very, very clearly. Okay, so these ones were meant to smell of. Well, they're going to be mandarins, praline, yellow cherry acid tea. I'm not getting any of that. But let's shove it in. Oh. Remember to move everything to the side because we're doing Lego in a second. Oh, look at that top down view. Professional. Give it a stir.
Hey Google. Oh, Google's not on. <laughs> I unplugged you, Google. Um, right, it is. Okay, wait for a couple of minutes. You, I don't know, you can see, but onto the side. No, not really. Anyway. Anyone got any good plans for the long weekend? For the uh, extra day off tomorrow? We will obviously be streaming uh, tomorrow night to some Rimworld. Oh, I wish I could speak. One more minute. Where were we? We were about halfway through, right? Yeah, we've done that. Oh. Oh, done that. Oh, quite a way through. We're on, we're on bag seven. Counting this. There we go. Yeah, there it is. Stick it that way. Right. Out the way, Lego. Do a quick stir. I see that's clumped together quite a lot. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Some like really oily stuff gets really, really clumped together. So much that you have to give it like a couple of stirs. Okay. Nothing exciting, just catch up on stuff. Stuff and things. Stuff and things. 3D modeling. Did you get your 3D printer? Did you actually get it? Um, I don't know how best to show you this. Language. Oof, that is just... It's a lot of pressure. You ordered one. Oh, how long is it going to take? Get yeah, a brand new one, not a second hand. still going this is still going that is really exciting yeah i know i you have to let us know how it goes because we we want a 3d printer <laughs> all right there we go here's here's the reveal center it up to another three to four weeks oh the anticipation you have to just get all the models ready that you want to make There we go, there's our coffee. That's a good uh, top-down view there. Mm, smell nothing, nothing majorly standing out. Zero is black, that's actually kind of nice. It's a little bit strong. Maybe I added a bit too many beans back in when I dropped a few. Um, don't really get any of those, the tastes that they're saying. But I will add some milk, as I usually do, and we'll see. Hmm. Definitely excited now, look at everything. Like, a, I could make a thing to do that. Yeah. 
Like, why would I buy this thing for two quid when I can make it with five quid of filament and 20 hours? I'm sure someone's made a model for this. Take the cup with me, put milk in back in a moment. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty decent cup. I mean, nothing's really standing out. Those tastes, I can, I can sort of bit of praline, a little bit, but not, not much. Would you change the degree method or stick to the aeropress? Well, that's what I'm just thinking, right? Because with these, so I get 100 grams, because I use about 38 for the pour over, and that's three, two, three cups ish. I use currently 10 for the espresso and 14 for uh, aeropress. I try all three. Um, and then I have enough left over to maybe make another one of, of the one that's good, just to confirm there, yeah, that's the one I want. I would use it. So, um, I think this would be a good pour over. So we'll have to try that at some point. I'll probably try that tomorrow. But unfortunately, this one discontinued, so I'd have to find one that's similar. Medium roast. I've given up on light roast. I've, I've realised, I, although I do love the like aroma and the, the flavour that comes with it, because it has a more, just more, just different flavours. It has layered flavours, not just the coffee. But like a dark roast is more, it's just the intense coffee flavour. Um, so you get a bit more like, I say floral sort of taste in light roast. It's it's nice. It's just not for me all the time. I'd probably have that one for occasional, but actually I wouldn't, I would probably, you know, I wouldn't drink it that much. So I'm avoiding light roast at the moment. So always my concern with dialing the method. By the time I get it right, I'll probably I'll be out of beans. <laughs> well, so I've got the, 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 the method, I think, for a generic, like AeroPress. It's always 14 grams. I mean, the water is pretty much always at the top every time. Uh, you give it two to three minutes, so as long as that's consistent, you know whether it's it's a you know it, it's good for that or not, and then you know whether you should adjust that based on that. It's going to be either grind size, the amount of beans, or uh, maybe the amount of time you leave it. But for an aeropress, it's you leave it longer, it's not too much. Um, espresso. You're always going to have the same amount. The grind for this is kind of preset. I have to do it in either like a, like a certain level because otherwise it's just not a good espresso. So once I get a better espresso machine, maybe I can then look at uh, figuring out a, a better grind size. So that when it comes to the espresso, it's just whether or not it tastes good or not. For that method. Um, or over, you got more. There's a lot more human error in there. Although again, as long as you keep it fairly standard. Um, thing is, lighter roasts are denser than dark roasts. So you say 38 grams of the light roast versus the 38 grams of dark roast. There's actually more stuff in, 
you know, it's dense, it's dense, it's dense. There's less beams. Um. So yeah, you've got to take that into consideration. Also, the grind size should change slightly. Should always grind a little bit finer for lighter first. But that's why I change it. But there's like a range. I, I go through a range depending on this. Like this was a 22 my arrow press for a dark roast. I would do it 24 ish. Light roast if I go down to a 20. But that seems about right. But then it's all just a learning curve, isn't it? It's all just. I might start getting the 250 size so that I can dial it in better. Don't know. Don't know. Ah. That's actually really nice. That is really nice. It's not strong in anything. It's just a good, like, solid base coffee taste. And if I was going to get it again, I'd probably get a big bag and that would be like a, a good... Like I've got with the other dark roast, I've got a big bag because it's a good daily pour-over sort of coffee. I can just chuck it in. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to think about it too much. Not stand out, but it's it's you know it's a good it's your good everyday cup of coffee. And that that's kind of the same because I want another coffee. Like a glove. Like a glove. I don't have my headphones on, so I have no idea if that was in time. I'm gonna boil the kettle and back it. We're going to try the uh, medium dark, which is from Guatemala. <laughs> Why is the wheel so fuzzy? I ask, not wearing glasses. You mean the simulation hasn't adjusted? Ah, that's bad. Uh... That's really bad graphics in this uh, simulation, right? Right, so this one's got candy, satsuma, milk, chocolate, and medium acidity. Full body. Did you turn draw distance down? <laughs> uh, the funnel. Metal foil. There you go. There's some coffee for you. Same grind as before. It's medium dark. Could have gone up a little bit, but. Ooh.
That is chocolatey. There's definitely some milk chocolatey sweetness in there. Ooh. Also a little bit of... Why do I smell curry powder? That seems so weird. Like... It smells like a korma to me a little bit with the sweetness and... No, no. Okay, that, that's weird. Let's... Let's get to the brewing. Chai coffee? Um, no, I, 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 I mean, we had curry on uh, Friday night, so maybe I'm just <laughs> smelling things that I, I had previously, but that was, a, that was a weird, like, warmth to it, but also sweet. Uh, I forgot to start our timer, so I think it's about... Thirty seconds in, so we'll give it another minute and a half. Yeah, there's definitely something in it. Something there. I can't quite put my finger on it. Two minutes. I don't know. I could be wrong. I forgot to time it. Give it a good stir though. It's smelling very good. You're making yourself a special tea for the occasion too. Right, that'll do. That's been about three minutes. I'm just gonna, I think. I think. I need to set up like a, I need to set up the timer again. I used to have a timer on screen for things. I need to set up like a three minute timer because three minutes is usually what I would do for like a pour over or an error press. So having that readily available would be handy. I suppose I should make a beverage too then. Yeah, why aren't you making a coffee mix? But come on. I had some nice coffees when I was uh, away. First of all, in, in the airport terminal, if you haven't seen my TikTok from a week ago. Security took us 10 minutes to get through. There have been reports it taking up to three hours because of the backlog. Um, but security took 10 minutes and then there was just a line. The only thing place really that did half decent um, coffee at Costa and there was a line which was taking minimum 45 minutes and I don't understand how it was taking so long. The line had about, let's say, 20 people in it. It was just insane. Decent smell. Not really picking much up other than that chocolatey I said earlier. Mm. 
I mean, it's nice. This is nice coffee. Very nice coffee, but there's... I don't know. Tastes a little bit... Um, more acidic than the the other one. Just only slightly, slightly more. Um, definitely like a full body flavor. Hmm. This is one I'd probably do in a um the, the pour over. Let me put some milk in it. Okay. Hmm, nice. That's that's definitely killed the acidity. Um for an acceptable level. Nice level. Rather than having it a little bit too too bitey is probably the best way to put it. I'm not really getting any under underlying flavors. It's good coffee. But I'll have to try it in the pour over. Um, maybe the espresso, but I think this is more of a pour over sort of. Um, yeah, this, this. I wouldn't, if I only had the AeroPress, I wouldn't get this one again. But the AeroPress, I don't think. I would have to adjust it a fair bit. Oh well. <laughs>